Welcome back to Season of Ghosts, everyone. In our last session, our group of adventurers returned triumphantly to Willow Shore, having resolved the threat of the Nopura Bow, who had attacked the town, kidnapped some people while you were gone, but rescued them without any deaths, killed some of the Nopra Bow, drove off the rest, or they left on their own, who knows, and you returned to town triumphantly. Three cheers for the party, yes, yes. And following that, you all have quite a hefty amount of time to simply rest and relax. Take on whatever jobs you would like to, help out people around town, try and earn some wealth for yourself in order to purchase or craft various other items you may need in the coming months, but at the very least for the remainder of summer and perhaps even into an unknown amount of time in fall, you all have time to rest. So, that being said, have you all thoughts of what it is you would like to do? I believe it was uh, listed, I know, back before all the candy talk now, um, some of your guys' options of what you can do for the activities you have found to help the town with. You can help out the stables now that they definitely need to be repaired once more and the animals that escaped found. You can go help find Peachwood outside Willow Shore to help create the paper that would be used in the making of Fulus. And you can help Yong Wu Shu at the Eternal Blaze with uh, carrying out the orders for more armor and weaponry to aid the town. Um, you can also do your own things with downtime. You can uh, just earn income. You could potentially begin looking into repairing uh, the tea house itself, since you guys have full ownership of that at this point in time. And anything else you can think of, or if you would like and... to talk with others, you're more than welcome to. Uh, the journal. <clears throat> yeah, you've got the journal, too. And those who could read it. <laughs> yes. That will be a long-term project of working through that journal, perhaps best saved uh, for later. You can certainly begin working on it now, should you like. But the time increment for deciphering the journal and what will come from that is measured in weeks as opposed to potentially days so it's a little weird you guys are in a downtime period effectively for the rest of summer when fall hits that is primarily going to be downtime measured over the course of weeks as you choose what you do each week to sort of help the town prepare for winter and that's where I mostly have things like uh, checking out that journal and doing further research, as well as repairing the tea shop. Those are sort of measured in that time period. You could start working on them now, but the timekeeping will just be a little funky. Got it. But you certainly can. I will not stop you from doing those things should you wish to. Right, gang? What do we think? Uh, man. You well, got all have to do the same thing, right? Sorry. <laughs> nice. Sorry, Ishino? I was just saying, we don't all have to do the same thing, right? No, not at all. And you've got a little under two months before uh, fall arrives, and 
you all will be expected to help with preparations for the first Long Night Festival. Oh, man. Uh, question. We informed, uh, Isbeth Kendora about the, the weird candles, right? Yes, you did. And she's taking care of that to make sure that's all... She said she would do her best to look into it, yeah. Okay. Uh, Jericho, sorry, remind me. We have two months left, right? Um, For summer? About, yeah. It's, uh... About... You guys will effectively be beginning your downtime on the 27th of Erastus. You will have the entirety of Eridus, and the 22nd of Rova will be the fall equinox the first long night festival and so sort of the week leading up to that you will be assisting or at least expected to assist with preparations okay all right and you mentioned the beach would take the longest most likely it will take the longest <clears throat> uh my first think... thought is there. there's a bunch of uh, domesticated animals loose in the woods, so that's probably a good place to start. For me, at least. I have 10 survival. I can do good at that. <laughs> Certainly, you could assist with uh, fixing up the ranch. I think Poe would feel obligated to help the forge first. Okay. So we've got Ko working with uh, Shu. I'm just typing this up in Foundry chat to note it down. Ishino, you're thinking tea house repairs? Yes. Okay. It's going to be weird because, again, that's one of those things that's measured in weeks, but I suppose I can work on it. I suppose. <laughs> uh, Kormori, was that you who said you were up for helping oh, out with the farm? I yeah, yeah. With the rough the ranch. Ranch repairs. And then we have Gaius and Cyan. Cyan, you asked about uh, the peach wood. Is that something you would like to actually go work on, or...? Yeah, I think. Okay. Um, I was approached by the, the lady. <laughs> I forget the name now. <laughs> uh, Yun Mong On, the yes. woodcarver. Yes, Mong Un. Yes. Yeah. She was the one who approached me, so I will help out with that. All right. And Gaius, what, if anything, would you like to work on for a period of time? <clears throat> I guess I'll help rebuild the ranch. Okay. You will also work on ranch repairs. Quick question. Quick answer. About um, the current status of NPC's friendliness. Yeah, that is another thing you guys can work on, is relationship with the factions and direct relationship with Granny Who and Old Matsuki. What is he currently, if it doesn't break the narrative too much? Uh, ba -da -ba -bum. Because I would use probably my close ties on him when we got him to friendly to make him helpful instead. Yeah. That might have already passed. I believe I you've already used those abilities when you guys first had your interactions with each of the leaders of Willow Shore. I believe most people use their seasonal ability who had one. Uh, yeah, I've used my seasonal one for bumping up Northridge. Yeah. Yeah, but you didn't have close ties, right? No, not me, yeah. I had the... Northridge caller. Mine specifically when an NPC becomes right, becomes helpful and friendly, friendly. I can make him helpful and stuff. Yeah. I don't remember that happening, but maybe I'm. Yeah. Uh, that'll be useful I'm for. Mm -hmm. So uh, the way I would word that effectively, because Motsky and Granny who use the actual numerical influence system, I would effectively say you can use that too. Oh. When you improve your influence with them, you can raise it by another one. Okay, so it's really for the lesser NPCs. Yes, but I also assume sort of most of them are at the very least friendly, if not helpful to you at this point in time. 
you guys have very strong relations with both South Bank and Northridge. You've effectively got seven points of reputation with South Bank and nine with Northridge. And with Granny Who and Old Monsky, I have to check. Uh, but I believe we did, you guys only We tried discovering, Northridge. right? You did the discovery yeah. for them, but yeah. you haven't done any actual influence. But yeah, we discovered a few things about yes. like their drinks, um, mm -hmm. etc. But we haven't done actual influencing yet. And that's something that we could do as well. Yeah, during... that is absolutely something you guys yeah. can do. Okay. Rub shoulders with the elders. <laughs> Sorry to make that flow. <laughs> no worries. That's a good thing to bring up and remind the group that they can work on is uh, their relationship and influence with the elders. And one other thing, guys, I do have tattoo artists, so if anyone wants magical tattoos, this will be the time, probably. What does that do, Ko? Uh, in this game, we can see each other's characters, right? Yeah. Yeah, I said it. It's if, you go to, if you go to my crafting tab, you can see the tattoos I can make. Oh, nice. Uh, crafting. Um, they're basically magic items that you invest in like you do any other magic item. But it's on your skin rather than held or whatever. Oh, it like, is an associated cost? Is that how it works? That's how much I would like need to craft it, I believe. Minus, you know, it gets cheaper the longer you take, right? Yes. So and you'll always have to spend at least half change. of it, but yeah. the further amount of time you take past each day, effectively past uh, the first day, will take less time. Yeah, like I slash lets you see farther, four times farther than normal. Mm. Also, lets you see static dark vision. Yeah. Oh, nice. And this and is a permanent so thing that you could do. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's uh, just the, a magic yeah. item you have, basically. You oh, invest. nice. Counts okay. against the ten investments you can have. Triangular Teeth is a nice reaction once per day to just bump your AC in response to a hit. Potentially turn an exact hit into a miss. Cool. Frostwalker might be beneficial when you guys are approaching more winter time. That's what I, yeah, I, I thought about it. Witching Bloom, uh, very good for those of you who like to recall knowledge. <laughs> well, it's weird because it's you use two actions and you're you an ally that immediately attempts to recall knowledge with a status bonus. Yeah, that helps you get. Uh, how would that work with Zion? Like, if you did that in combat for him, yeah, that would be a way to trigger his off guard stuff. It should, because uh, it is just when he recalls knowledge. Now, the wording on it is weird, um, because so when he succeeds, it's only off guard until the start of his next turn. But if he oh, if man. he gets to crit succeed with it, they'd be off guard for a minute. Um, Interesting. Yeah. And the ability doesn't specify the ally has to use their reaction to do it, so they effectively get to free action. Welcome back, Ishino. Thanks. Oh, nice. <clears throat> Is this the Bewitching Bloom thing? Yeah. Oh, very cool. So, uh, just be thinking about it if you want to do that during this two months, and I can yeah, do it. So, uh, I will leave it up to you guys. Do you want to do day by day here? Do you want to try and do, like, a week at a time of rolls? Um, simply because some of these are more daily rolls, some of them... Uh, will require effectively multiple successes to succeed. But uh, I am happy to break this down however you guys would like. Um, like when you got to collect Peachwood, you might wish to only do one earn income roll for a week's work at a time to see how much you earn. Got it. And uh, I think you answered this before, Jericho. Does it matter whether one person or two persons or more are doing a particular task? Does the it more make who it... do it, the faster it's going to go. Okay. But the fewer who do it, 
doesn't really matter. It's just going to likely take longer to accomplish. So. Got it. What I would I'm ask thinking... the group, if Cyan's going out to do Peachwood, would you all really send him off on his own? Into the forest? <laughs> Probably not. Because <laughs> I'm thinking um, I mean, others... Be useless at that, so... Yeah, because others could finish faster than they could help out later on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how many checks will it take uh, the forge to get them back to... So I think realistically, probably the simplest way to do this all is just we'll measure it in a week at a time. Makes and sense. we'll see how that goes. One week might be enough with your help to get the forging back on track. Okay. It might not quite be enough. It'll sort of depend on how you roll at that point. With two people working on the ranch, one week might be enough for that. Yeah, I'm fine with the one week thing, and then if we need to drill down on the next week, we can, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We've got lots of time, so like, if this lot, we have two months. This is a lot to, mm. if yep. we break it down day by day, right? That's like sixty plus days. So we should be able to do everything. It's just pick somewhere to start and go from there. Yeah, yeah. We, we can probably do the beechwood last among all the tasks. So if everyone kind of gets free by that point, a lot of people could help out. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's have quite a lot of time to get things done, and it might just be beneficial to you all that you do. So, we'll go ahead. Hey. Week one. Week one. Go ahead and pop to the next morning. Um, just for posterity's sake, do any of you have one day of activities you'd like to do before this week. Like, Cyan, I'm assuming you'd effectively spend that day heading to the Peachwood if that's still what you're planning to go start working on. Um, simply because it's a Sunday and I would like to start tracking my weeks on Mondays. Because that'll just... Uh, Peachwood for a day. See what we can get done. Well, it's going to take a day to travel to Peachwood. Oh. Well, so... I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'll help craft with the blacksmith for a day, I guess. Okay. Probably craft uh, those figurines I wanted to craft. Sure. Out of glass. Absolutely. This would be like a good day if anyone wanted to spend some time with Matsuki or Granny Who and try and influence them. This would be a good day to do that. I, I'm probably doing kind of a little bit of shopping today. Sure, yeah. You guys can also absolutely be placing orders with Shinzo or just shopping at the actual shops in town since those should still relatively match your level. Actually, I guess I should talk to Liza <laughs> about the soul <laughs> candles and the creature inside yeah. me. Well, you did just mention the candles to her yesterday, so... Oh, okay, she was there. Yeah, you mentioned... That was mentioned to her, at least. She said she'd look into it, but you have not had the chance to talk with her about your uh, roommate. Yeah. So, you can certainly do that. Spend yeah. a day clean all the blood out of the tea house. <laughs> Let's begin working on uh, cleaning it up, sure. All right. That shit's not bad, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Spend, spend a Sunday cleaning up the tea house. Sure. Yeah, I'll do the same on that. Okay. You know, you said you'd go work at the forge for a day. Yeah, probably also gathering the materials needed to help with uh, the tea house by working at the forge, <laughs> putting in some good goodwill. Absolutely. Then that's going to be the first skill check I ask for. And as a general reminder to people, when it comes to downtime activities. Uh, it's a no-can-do on hero-pointing, since the idea is you can just spend more time to do it again. 
So, unless you can make me feel really, really bad about your role, <laughs> I'm gonna say no to hero pointing here on these rolls. Uh, Ishino, if you'd like to go ahead and give me a crafting check for today, you're more than welcome to. Very nice. Yeah, spending uh, first day this Sunday just doing your best to help out around the blacksmithy. Just having that one extra hand. What was that gif? I saw that. that. <laughs> you think you can hide these things from me? I already did. <laughs> just because you deleted the post doesn't mean it wasn't posted in the first place. <laughs> um... Anyways, yeah, uh, Ishino, spending Sunday here just helping out around the forge, having one more person is already a sit, helping them out reach that sort of order quota, especially you are just sort of inherently, I don't want to say more talented, but more practiced when it comes to crafting. Your eyepiece definitely helps out, and you are able to make some of the finer pieces of gear at a much faster rate than the regular apprentices are able to. Um, let's see. We had Gaius and Kuramori going to work on cleaning up the tea house. Yeah. That could okay. be crafted. Uh, no real role I need for that at the moment, simply because Ooh. you're just cleaning it, scrubbing it. I don't have a cleaning skill for you to roll, so... Okay. <laughs> Just knowing that's what you're doing today is good enough for me. Uh, Cyan, what were you doing for today? Were you just heading out to Peachwood? Uh, no, I'm, I'm doing some shopping today. I'm not yet going to right, Peachwood right, right, for right, now. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, Jones. I'll do this behind the scenes, but Am I selling, if I'm selling my mesmerizing opal, which has seven gold, do I get seven gold? That is for correct. That, or? Okay. Yes, because we are selling things for full value in this campaign. Nice. Um, and yeah, just kind of realizing the stuff that we needed throughout the first few weeks of summer. So I'm kind of buying uh, a brass ear, earplugs, <laughs> signal whistles, <laughs> kind of all the little bits and bobs. Um, and arrows for myself. Sure. And I'll do that all and subtract it from my um, gold. All right. And last but not least for today, Ko, oh, you are heading over to her fluvial lady of souls to speak with Eliasith. Yeah. All right. As you make your way in, it is quiet and somber as it usually is. Uh, you can see through some of the windows that Eliza appears to be out in the actual cemetery out back at the moment. When you arrive. Okay, I'll head back there then. Good morning, Ko. Good morning. Um, I have something private to discuss by all means is there anyone around us in the graveyard no not this early in okay. the day then yeah we can just talk here it's fine. <clears throat> now I tell her about the incident <laughs> I think it's only happened once so far yep although the creature did warn me about the ambush in the night Which woke me up. <clears throat> well, I'm not. Does, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, it does not feel malevolent in any way, but it still worries me. Well. I'm not entirely sure what to tell you, Ko. I'm not sure I have anything that could easily assuage your worries. The 
spirits that live around us all act in. Oftentimes, strange ways. Sometimes exactly what it is they mean or want from us will remain elusive. Maybe for far longer than it should most of the time, but I can do a check over on you and make sure it's not having any malign influence, but I could do my best to excise the spirit from you if you would like, but that does risk a backlash if we don't exactly know what it is and if it is not an undead spirit and something more like the kami then normal exorcisms would not work and might serve instead to infuriate it i look around the graveyard again for anyone who might be watching or in a perception check Visible distance. Um, perception. Empty and silent. I don't think it's a spirit, but this is, it has caused a physical change and all. Let that one wing out from under my clothes, I guess. Oh. It's red and purple and orange feathers. That is... Like a bird wing, basically. Both fascinating and concerning. Perhaps you can find a way, or know of a way I can talk to the, whatever this is, or... Uh, I can... I can... I can do my best to teach you some of the methods I know of for communicating with spirits, but... If it's inhabiting your body, then... Perhaps finding a way to communicate with it would be something best suited for you to figure out. It might be something more personal to you. That would be the bridge for communication. That's good advice. So I'll do that. Wish I, I would prefer help. this be kept between us. You have my and promise. I assure you, the other the others know about it already. The others in my group, but nobody else in town does. So. You have no need to worry about me sharing this information with others. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. I'm always around, Co. If ever you need someone just to speak with. I can give advice to the best of my ability, but if you ever just need someone to talk, you know where to find me. Okay. I bow and then leave. All right. Thus spends the majority of this first day or so of downtime. So now that we're on Monday, and I can more easily track time for uh, reasons that'll be important later. Now we're going to prep into doing things sort of measured in the course of weeks just to see how it goes. So, uh, just going down the list for this week here, who would like to do what? Gaius, what you up to? Uh, it's going to be helping the ranch. Open the ranch. Awesome. Uh, Cyan, what are you up to this week? Um, 
since I'm kind of waiting, I think is the forge done yet? Not yet. No, not at all. Um, I'll be helping with the forge um, for this week. Okay. Ishino, what are you up to this week? Uh, now that the tea house is all cleaned up, I'm going to start repairing it. Sure making thing. more of a mess. Absolutely. Uh, Kuramori, what about you this week? I will be working at the ranch. Working at the ranch. Awesome. And last but not least, Ko, what are you up to this week? Working at the forge. Okay. Awesome. Nice and simple. We got two at the forge, two at the ranch, and Ishino working on the tea house. All right. Well, Ishno, you are working on the tea house, so your options for a check here are crafting, athletics, or architecture, or labor lore. I would also like to ask you this. Would you like to spend about 10 gold on actually purchasing resources and supplies to help with the reconstruction? If you do, that it will up your degree of success that you roll. Uh, I am poor again, so... <laughs> you do not have to. <laughs> then I will not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that is How much simply is it? an option. Ten gold. That's a lot. If ten gold is spent, it'll guarantee turn a failure into a success, a success into a crit success. I will... I think we'll wait on that, because then we can earn income if I need to for future weeks, maybe, to help yeah. with that, too. Absolutely. Okay, you, want me, you don't want my gold, all right. <laughs> I think save it for now, because we don't know how difficult it is yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Then... If, if, if it's too difficult and I roll a crit failure, that's not going to help us any, so... <laughs> It'll just turn into a failure. Uh, I'm going to do crafting. Sure. That's the easiest DC for this. That's perfect. Very good. All right. Very nice. Absolutely a success. You spend this entire week beginning the process of repairing the tea house, getting it all fixed up, ready to go. By the end of the week, you're fairly certain that at the rate you're going, this will take perhaps around five weeks or so to have it fully up and ready to go and ready to run once more. Awesome. So, I think I should out somewhere. Tea house restoration. One out of five points needed for that. Uh, let's see. Ko and Sion, the two of you helping out at Eternal Blaze for the week. Absolutely. That's primarily going to be crafting to focus on it. I'd also allow warfare lore if you've got that, or if you think you've got another really suitable skill you're more than welcome to here. Um, I think it's crafting for me. Yeah. The I'm point is you're... For me. Um, you're helping out I with the forging, so that makes sense. My spell called Forge to give me a bonus. <laughs> uh... It's okay if no. I'm I just... want to say yes, because I do really like that. The idea, though, is this is a week being spent on it, so uh, yeah. a single, or even up to four full castings a day, uh, it would mostly help you with heating the metal. Yeah, that's what, that was my thought, too, on that. I'll give you, if you're, if you're using all your spell slots each day on it, uh, I'll go ahead and give you a plus one circumstance bonus on your roll. Because it definitely, it does speed up the heating time of the metal because of it. Alright, I have added that to the roll. And... Mm. Sixteen is unfortunately not quite going to do it. Uh, however, Science 26 will definitely help out with this. And this wasn't a particularly difficult issue with the two of you helping out over the course of this entire week you are more than able to help them at least get back on track with the 
sort of oversaturation of orders for weapons and armor being sent in from Northridge. Wushu was only able to teach one apprentice at a time and help focus on their work. Even if they could watch her, she could only correct one person at a time. So with the two of you, knowing what you're doing, showing up and able to help out with both doing some work yourselves and also just more so correcting the technique of the other apprentices that work here, over this week, you definitely managed to help stabilize the issue. Awesome. You're not necessarily going to get paid at the moment. However, if you do wish to work here for earn income in the future, you absolutely can. However, this is going to resolve this issue between them, and it's definitely going to raise your party's reputation with South Bank, as they are definitely going to appreciate you stepping up to help your people. Awesome. Yeah, no problem at all. This is where I get my arrows. Might as well give back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And last but not least for this week, we got Kuromori and Gaius working with the ranch. Sun Chong has had so many issues <laughs> these last few months. He's really struggling. <laughs> Uh, the last few days was really bad. Yeah, the last few days, probably the worst of all. The choice is yours between the two of you. If you would like to uh, use survival to help chase down and return livestock that's fled, or if you'd like to use crafting to help actually repair and rebuild the fencing and the outbuilding here that have been damaged. Uh... For me, my survival's better by one. I'm sticking to doing that. Sure. My crafting is not so good. So, <laughs> I'll be the survival. You can still try it. I won't stop you. <clears throat> Trap the fall for it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do a basic survival check. Yep. I got no buttons for you. Kuromori. <gasps> Natural four. Sad. Sad. Also, Gaius can help out. Public? Yeah. Don't... Oh, there you go. Yeah. Ooh. All right. The two of you help out to the best of your ability, primarily working on rounding up all the livestock, the horses, uh, the cows, everything that has escaped and gone missing these last weeks. Um, you definitely help out quite a bit with it. And they're working on getting the ranch rebuilt in the meantime. However, by the end of this first week, the work is not quite done. There's still more animals, especially with Sun Chong and Meng Sung having been kidnapped by the Nopuro Bo, along with the other people who work at the ranch. A lot of the animals have gotten further away into the forest, and tracking them down is a much more time-consuming process than you initially expected it to be. Um, so you do a good job. Koromori, you get some. Gaius, you absolutely get the majority of the animals between the two of you. Theoretically, you guys could probably help finish the work with only one of you next week. However, if you wanted to ensure that it got done, two would be best. But mm. one good roll would be enough to put the ranch back in fully working condition. And that is the first week done. Though it's not everything that occurs, because at the end of the first week, people have definitely begun to take note that the tea house belongs to you all, the word has spread, and you guys are actually putting effort into rebuilding and repairing it. And... Uh, on that Sunday, Ishino, while you are sort of finishing up your first weeks of work, looking over, making estimates of how long it's going to take to finish the tea house, there is a 
knocking at the door. Uh, since headphones haven't been invented yet, he should know hears it. And... <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> sees who's there. Yeah. It is a uh, very recognizable figure. I keep putting things in chat nowadays instead of showing to people. I don't know why. Uh, MSG, Mountain Summit Grass, the Leshy tea maker who owns the Leshy Salon nearby, is there. Good afternoon. Uh, yeah, hello. Am I correct in noting that uh, you and yours have taken ownership of the tea house and are working on bringing it back to working status? Yes, that is that is safe to assume. Ah, wonderful, truly. I am very glad to see that you all are putting in your efforts and there will be a place that people can go to to rest and relax moving forward. Um, I would love to find time to work out a business proposition for you. I know that you will be requiring uh, supplies and actual tea leaves to run your uh, to run your shop. Um, I would happily be willing to assist with a partnership and figure that out at some point uh, if you all were interested. Uh, yeah, that sounds really good, but I'll have to talk to my business partners as I only have a 20% stake of ownership. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by stake, but of course uh, my friends will need their agreements as well, and truth be told, we have some mild issues on our side that we need to focus on fixing before we can make it a truly even business deal, but once we've got... Oh, what's, what's happening on your side? Do you need assistance? We have, we seem to have some uh, free time coming up before the fall and things really get going. Uh, nothing too particularly major. Um, we've been having a... Uh, a bit of a blight has begun to spread among some of the leaves, and a few of us who have attempted to clear it out have been infested themselves. So we're, we're, working, we're, we're working on it. It's just going to take a little bit of time to resolve, but thank you. All right, well, I'll, I'll mention it to the group, and we'll see if we have any time we can maybe come over and see if we can assist in that. And... If not, we'll uh, keep working on repairing the, the tea house and hopefully uh, be ready to start serving the public soon. You focus on what you need to do, we'll focus on our stuff, and once both sides are ready to go, we will talk shop. Sounds good. And uh, MSG will sort of bow slightly before heading back towards the Leshy Salon. They don't seem to necessarily want help, but perhaps you could argue helping them for uh, free supplies, or at least a discount. MSG is a wild name, you should know. <laughs> it's, one of those things, it's never like shortened in the book, it's just Mountain Summit Grass. And then one day I had the epiphany, I was like, wait, that's just MSG. Yeah. It's a great name, whoever came up with that. MSG screwed. <laughs> it's so good. Um, I'll mention it to the crew the next time we're kind of passing and talking about going forward, just the business interests as well as somebody else that might need a little... Uh, if somebody's a little more persuasive about helping them, they might uh, be more inclined to take the help. Yeah, I'm imagining that after this week we're gathered, we'll be gathering by the tea house to discuss kind of what we've done for the week. Absolutely, yeah. I, I could easily assume, even if it's not just like once a week, I can imagine you guys probably get together for maybe a meal every now and then, or just like in the mornings. At least relatively frequently keeping up with what's going on since you all are, for the most part, working together. Yeah, um... Uh, not... Uh, the ranch is not done yet, right? Uh, guys and... Kromori? No. 
we'll maybe not a, a week bit more time right i think i might be uh ko and i have finished with the forge uh, i think i might be ready to head to the beechwood area I don't know, Cole, if you have other plans. What are the checks for that again? <laughs> to collect beechwood? <laughs> yeah. Uh, nature and survival. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who's good at those skills? Trained in nature. Hi. I only have a plus seven. Oh, well, it's already higher than that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know, a blight in any of our resources seems like a big problem. Maybe we should help them look into that even if they don't want our help. On a side note, uh, just because I think it's fun to let you all know this, I do have the uh, exact population number of Willow Shore right now, and I will be keeping track of it this campaign. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> For no some of the leshies were corrupted as well by this uh, maybe plague. They might have mentioned yeah, something. Yeah, I'm like gonna that. go. For your information, go Willow Shore has there. about 223 people. Ah. Not including you all. Okay. What did we start with? <laughs> You don't want to know the number <laughs> pre-summer invasion. You God. Know. It's clearly like 700 pre-summer. Pre it wasn't that bad, but there were a few dozen at least who perished in that. Oh. I'm going to go to the tea fields and investigate. Sure. Um, I'm good in diplomacy, so hopefully I can let, talk them into letting me help. Cyan, did I hear correctly? A healer, so I don't know if he wants to come with me. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's go down the list for this week then. I guess we'll uh, we'll go with the people talking to the tea house first, since that is more role playing talking than it is just a weekly skill check. So yeah, uh, did anyone wish to go with Ko to the Leshy Salon? I feel his moral support. <laughs> I, I think his diplomacy is better. Okay. Hey, well, you are you oh. are a medic though, so you can examine the leshies who are sick. I'll agree to their proposal on that, but I'm gonna finish out the job on the on the range first. I think I'll stay with Gaius this time with the wrench. <laughs> So it's just Ko going to talk to the Leshies today, then? With Kuromori, I think. Okay. Yeah, Kuro yeah uh, Kuromori said he would go. Gotcha. All right. Talking to your person, though. Yeah. Uh, you know, starting Monday morning, before you guys get on with what you actually plan to do for the week, the two of you make your way up to the Leshy Salon and the tea fields that surround it. And even as you approach, you can see... Uh, probably around a third of the fields, which should normally be green and vibrant, have heavily browned. Um, there is definitely good. something wrong with the fields. Uh, but as you approach, a few of the leshies seem to catch note, and uh, Mountain Summit grass does come not even jogging, just walking towards you guys after a minute or two. Uh, good morning. Um, sorry to say, uh, the salon is currently closed at the moment. Yeah, ensuring quality of product. We don't want anyone to get sick from anything. It's understandable. Um, Ishino told us of your problems um ah, yeah and we came yes. to offer our assistance kuromori here is a notable healer uh, uh, healing isn't particularly necessary um 
These are dark yeah, this... times. We should all lean on each other. You don't I, have to I, do I sort of... this alone. I sort of look oh, at the ahead. fields like uh, this seems to be more of a uh, agricultural issue at the moment. I'm not sure my skills are that useful in that. <laughs> Their people are sick too, from what I hear. Oh. Uh, go ahead and give me a diplomacy check, Ko. Can I aid that? How are you aiding? Uh, just to say, you no, know, affirm what he said about, but I am skilled in medicine, not just not in agricultural, but medicine, <laughs> I am very skilled. Uh, sort of back him up on that sense. Sure, you may use diplomacy to aid as well. All right, I, um, we'll have I, that was also too. floating around, if that's okay. <laughs> Sure. Are you activating this right now, or would you have had it? No, I would have before? Like, as we came up. Sure. It just sort of floats around me. Yeah, absolutely. And you will get a plus one circumstance bonus from the aid. All right. Uh, so put that on me. <laughs> Not invigorously. <laughs> hey, and then I go to action macros aid. Plus Basic one. action macros. All right, it's a plus 14. It's pretty Ooh. good. Watch this, Nat 1. <sighs> okay, now is this... This is something you can hero, hero point. <laughs> is it hidden? No. This is just a good old public diplomacy yeah, roll. Yeah, I'm going to hero point it. <sighs> okay. Come on. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right. Well, does that succeed? You didn't even let me uh, answer before. You said you were going to hero point. I love how people are doing that nowadays. <laughs> they just say well, they're going to hero point something. It was a six something. on the die. Well, we roll a six. Well, Don't yeah. you have to do that before you get hear the result? I thought. No. Normally, you're supposed to be able to do it once you know the result. Sometimes I will act. I will not tell people the result and let them decide if they want to roll or not because I'm a shitter. Um, I Those like to call stress. He doesn't like rolling low numbers. So. Well, thankfully, Ko, you your DC was only 19. All right. So, they may be stubborn, but with your arguments about dark times needing to lean on one another these days, they're not recalcitrant. They do understand it, and loath as they may be to request aid they're not uh, rude enough to continuously deny it when it is offered okay. if you have the time then we will appreciate your assistance the closer examination needs to be done Pooding, some weeding. We believe the blight is within the soil itself, so the tainted soil will be needing to be rotated out for fresh soil. Okay, so you already know what this is. It's good. We do have a solid idea, yes. It's nothing terribly major, just a bit challenging for us to take care of sometimes. Possible, just time-consuming to do so safely. We'd well, be happy to help. Thank what if you're you. sick? Are they going to be okay without our... They'll assistance? be perfectly fine. We continue to grow and shed our young parts as time passes, so pieces that have been slightly infested, they are easy enough to remove and they will regrow. This is a new activity you guys can assist with. The uh, tea farms infestation. You can absolutely spend these downtime periods to assist with that if you would like. Okay. What, what skills kind of would yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. Nature. Shit. Right. Farming <laughs> lore. Uh, let me check. Tea nope. lore. <laughs> no. 
I would accept T lore. That gives me an extra one. <laughs> that would be uh I will I will make that DC for T lore between nature and farming lore. Will be the, uh, the unspecific I... lore skill for this. <laughs> but since this <laughs> is sure. in the tea farms. Curry Mori looks at the citrine considerable and said, it's like Unfortunately, I don't think my skills are going to be much use here, as I said. <laughs> it's a little outside my wheelhouse. Catch me to this. pretty funny. All right. Well, then, moving on to the first full week taking place in the month of Eridus, your last full month of summer. You've got a little under a month and a half in total left before fall arrives, but... Uh, for summer itself, you've still got a period of time where it's nice and warm, muggy, super fucking rainy outside most of the time. The weather has begun to take a turn for the wet. So, it's not fun to be outside in this period of time, but it is something you all are used to. Heavy rains are nothing new for the summer period in and around Willow Shore, so... At least it's not blood... At least it's not blood. Yes, Cyan. Looking <laughs> on the bright side. Uh, question. The, this the farm infestation, yeah. they went their start of the week, so could they have done it for this week? They can well? absolutely work on it this week. Yeah, this was effectively like uh, Kuromori and Co. went in the morning before actually starting whatever their plan to work for the week is. So this is an option for anyone that they would gotcha. like to work on this week. All right. So, yeah, I'll, we're going to go try to help them. Then. You are? Yeah. I, I do have nature and t lore, so. Sounds good. Uh, Kuromori, what are you up to this week? Uh, this week... It's a good question. Uh... <laughs> He said we're like one good roll away from finishing yes. the ranch. Um, so it is up to you if you would like to do that entirely on your own or if you guys want to have two people do it just to guarantee. Right. And then is anyone doing the Peachwood thing this this week? Um I was thinking of doing that the following week okay once the, the ranch to deal with. yeah the tea fields okay then I'll, I'll i'll do some more survival at the the ranch then okay ishino are you continuing with repairing the tea house yep all right nice and easy Diane, you're helping out with tea fields uh yeah, I think Kuromori and I will swap. Okay. And Gaius, what are you up to this week? The ranch. All right, so you got two at the ranch, two at the tea fields, and Ishino on the tea house. Nice and classic. Ishino, you can go ahead and give me that same roll again. Ko and Cyan, you can give me those nature or tea lores, and... Mori and Gaius, you can give me those survival or crafting checks again. No! <laughs> wow. It might take another week at the at the at the ranch, guys. Should have stayed at the ranch. <laughs> oh man. Please. Yikes. <laughs> Are you sure there's more animals out here? <laughs> yes. I think they've been eaten already. And, uh... So new cyan. Roll cyan. Yeah. And, uh, Get a good yep. roll for us. Three of us. Each and could I, like could I use my... Us? Could I use my lore when I start lore on this one? No. <laughs> <laughs> good By try. nature it is. Oh! There you go. And uh, he shoots his scores. Oh, for you specifically, I did say it was between the nature and farming lore. 
the nature DC was 18, the farming lord DC 16, so yes. that would make T-Lore 17. Uh, the two of you are absolutely going to, in a single week's time, resolve the entire blight at the tea fields. You two work like machines. It's also pretty easy when you can just, you know, take whatever's afflicted and sort of burn it away. Yep. <laughs> yeah, just passing on to <laughs> Ko to burn. <laughs> Ko is bringing slash and burn farming <laughs> to Willow Shore. Uh -huh. And uh, the uh, tea fields will be easily management. resolved by the two of you. Um, which, wonderfully, this will not grant you any reputation with either faction. However, MSG is quite grateful. And uh, thank you for this. Um, definitely much quicker than we would have been able to accomplish it on our own. Once you get your tea house up and running... You can count on us to supply you with tea for their business. Yeah, um, that would be that would be great. Actually, we've heard only good things about the salon and the tea that you produce here. Thank you. We do our best, and we can make sure that it will be even better this time. May I speak to you privately, MSG? Looking for her actual name. But... Of course, yes. I happily. I thank you once more, Cyan, for your assistance. Uh, no, you. no worries. I will see you for a tea ceremony once your shop is up and running. Uh, of course. We'll, we'll let you know as soon as possible. And after he's gone, I'll be like, uh, do you have any mildly hallucinogenic tea? Uh, I'm saying this above board, I believe so. Uh, MSG will be a lot more confident with that. Yeah, I'm just... Uh, are you looking for... Uh, to induce hallucinations in yourself. How uh, mild are you looking? In myself. Just to take the edge off. I certainly have a number of types of teas. If you're looking for something to, as you said, take you know, the like a, edge off. More, more of a spirit journey kind of tea. Uh, the moment I <sighs> this is my ch uh, like uh, Jericho this is gonna be my chosen method to try and communicate with the I see creature. interesting yeah creature um give me a diplomacy check here uh, I'm going to, maybe, yeah. because of the crit success from Cyan and your success, whatever your role is going to get a degree of success better here. All right. Um, I didn't have the lantern out, so that won't get that bonus this time around. Come on. Ugh. That is going to still be a success, though, because of All what right. I said. Nice. Right. We do produce mild amounts of leaves used in dream time tea I can provide to you in small amounts if you really need it uh, very well I'd like to purchase some then of course um, I will effectively say because of your guys' relationship with MSG dream time tea is normally pretty expensive if you want the full effects but if you want something that's a little bit uh, lesser than that, you want something that is just going to assist you in communicating with your spirit, then uh, I will effectively say I think you can probably get enough of that for the effects to probably work, we'll say, for about three gold a week, if you're okay with that. If you are willing to pay yeah, for hopefully. it. Yeah, hopefully. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll do it for the first week at least. So sure. Three See how well it goes. Yeah. And try and induce like that state between wakefulness and sleeping. Absolutely. Uh, Maybe it can take control of my body and talk to me. <laughs> but we both have control? I don't know. One of the other fun things I should mention, uh, Ishino, once you are done with your... Once the Cerulean Tea House is repaired, when you guys go into the Compendium Browser, if you look in the Equipment tab, uh, funny enough, there is a tea trait... Uh, for magical teas, and you guys can spend time at the tea house researching those formulas and being able to craft them with the tea house acting as a workshop if you would like once that is repaired. And uh, speaking of your role, Ishino, a 31 is a critical success. So forget what I said about... <laughs> requiring five weeks to do this, you think you've only need two more weeks at best for this. There is, as well this week, while you are working on repairing the tea house, you notice someone else in the building with you. Um... Mostly just laying down on the upper banister is a cat. I shoot it. Okay. <laughs> you actually? No. What color is it? Wait, I guess. What color is the cat? Oh. It is oh, God, a has glowing white, eyes. white leopard spotted cat. And, uh... You may give me a recall knowledge roll about this cat if you would like to, Ishino, to see if you I know who it is. Did you sneak some of my tea? <laughs> uh, as the person here with Willow Shore lore, Ishino, you actually absolutely know who Yami is. Uh, this was the not necessarily pet cat of my lie who used to own the tea house, but my lie found and took care of Yami as a kitten, and the cat for a long time was a staple of the tea house, typically watching over it from the shadows, occasionally warming guests' laps. Um, you're not exactly sure what became of Yami after my lie passed, but he seems to have found his way back to the tea house. She, sorry. Well, if I know anything about cats, the best way to make friends with them is to pretend and ignore them, pretend you don't like <laughs> them. So that is what uh, Ishino will do. But he'll mention to the party that we have a new, well, not a new guest, a returning guest, and he'll secure some uh, cat food and other things and just kind of lay them out for, for Yami. Sure. I will say, on top of repairing the tea house now, Actually working to befriend Yami is another week-long downtime activity you can attempt at this point. And anyone can attempt it. But if you'd Sounds like to make friends cute. with the cat, you can. No, that's a fun activity. <laughs> <laughs> make friends with the cat. It scratches. There is uh, potentially good things that can come from befriending the cat. Ooh. Uh, they ain't no normal cat. Kuromori and Gaius. My friends. <laughs> How could you do this? You brought back the last animals. It was perfect. What a good week this was. How could you be so foolish as to leave the fence latch unlatched last night? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How is it that every single animal that has been brought back up until now is gone again. Why really? would you do this? Oh no, we lost all, all the progress. <laughs> all of your progress is gone. I'm so sorry. All right, guys, we'll hit start and uh, resave or re reload. And uh, Mr. Rossetti <laughs> will show up out of the ground and scream at you. 
Horses are a real problem for this party. <laughs> it really oh, is the horses the... every time. <laughs> Apologies. Maybe you didn't leave uh... the latch unlocked. We'll we'll go get them again for you. I'm sorry. It was Kuro that did that. <laughs> or did... Oh, oh, okay. You were the now one. <laughs> that, that okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I do know if uh, you're the one who failed that the prior week. You're the one who not won this week, Kuromori. Yeah. Maybe the uh, maybe does he... ranch life isn't in your blood. Yeah. You know, does he just like you're not you're not helping me anymore? <laughs> no, he th he still gratefully accepts the help you guys are willing to get. But when he wakes up Sunday morning and sees all of the animals gone, uh, the sound of heads being banged against the wall from his house is very audible. Um, he has had some real bad luck and you are not helping right now. <laughs> But you are in the first place helping him for free, and he does greatly appreciate that. So he's not gonna shoot a gift horse in the mouth. So, uh, uh, guys, do you need help with this? Uh, Ko and I are uh, pretty much done with a uh, uh, tea blight. Oh, we would That's very amazing. much appreciate that. All right, let's just four man this place. Yeah, um, because <laughs> right. I I really really don't want to go to the beach with alone. So let's just do this. So next week right. is just gonna be everyone except Ishino at the ranch. Oh, we'll uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll ask Ishino yeah. if he wants to come. <laughs> uh, Ishino, um, where the animals kind of escaped, so. We're helping out. Not sure if you want to join or continue your good, very good work here in the TS. <laughs> I think Ishino is trying to encourage you guys to stay away from the tea house after <laughs> seeing how unlucky you've been. <laughs> he says, no, no, you guys, <laughs> you go get the animals. <laughs> um, All right. All right. All right. Then uh, nothing really happens unless you guys have specific things you would like to do in the interim before we just get into this next week of skill rolls. Always welcome to do any sort of uh, role play that you want to do, like the conversations you just had amongst yourselves. I just be running a mill, uh, interacting with family and friends and whatnot, but nothing specific. Sure. All right. Then, uh, I'll ask for the four of you to give me those uh, crafting and or survival checks. And uh, Ishino, you can give me your roll for the tea house once more. I'll do crafting for this one. Sure. Make sure the latch actually latches. Mm-hmm. It was totally broken. Don't that roll was almost a one. Oh, no. <laughs> I will. Is this... Is this, this is a something? downtime activity. This is not something you can repair. <laughs> you cannot hero point this. Uh, I can't believe you broke the latch. Okay. Wow, 323. Thankfully, <laughs> Co makes up for science failures. Yeah, because science is nervous about horses and. Yeah. Dude, it's it's just... He can't hurt you anymore. He can't talk anymore. Just. I... Because I think it's that relax. horse. You could swear it's side eyeing you. That <laughs> horse knows. Just, I every I time swear. you go to repair it, Don't the horse is just like right behind you watching. <laughs> I swear it's the same horse. If only you had to uh, speak with animals. Uh, All right. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, thankfully, between Ko's success undercutting the lost points from science crit failure and the two successes between Gaius and Kuromori, the four of you working together will finally <laughs> get the ranch Yay. back fully in working order. The barn is fixed. Doesn't look like it's going to collapse. That latch works and has a lock and you know it's locked. All the animals you could possibly find have been returned. The ranch is fine. And deep breaths are had by all. 
Cyan, just go to your happy place. Yes. Think of glue. Think of glue. All right, let's yes. go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, that, that made me think of when I was when I walked back to work. Like, did I lock the door last night? <laughs> Comes running back to check again. <laughs> and uh, Ishino, unfortunately, an 18 will just barely fail. You had such a good week last week that you sort of got ahead of schedule. And while you don't necessarily cause any problems, you don't make nearly as much progress this week as you sort of expected to. And while you're not behind your originally set schedule at all, you are no longer ahead of it. So... I think Ishino also got distracted by the cat. That's probably so like, yeah. Like, I like to think the cat. Yeah. <laughs> cat maybe walked through some paint and then just now there's paw prints yeah. you got to deal with. I will let you know one of the best things if you crit succeed at befriending Yami, uh, there is a random chance every week he will bring you a random gift, and I have oh. a I have a table to roll on of what those gifts will be, and some of them are really fucking funny. Is that nature, or can you just... Depends? It'll be nature, yeah, to uh, befriend Yami. But it's not a very so, high DC. God, that's the a real question. Is how many rats he'll, he'll, it will bring? <laughs> uh, hilariously, a rat is not on the random list. Oh, it's just, it's just assumed that it brings back rats? <laughs> yeah. No, uh... The first, I will say this, the first thing on Yami's list of gifts is a potato. <laughs> a potato. Wow. You That's don't know awesome. where Yami gets it. All right. But as this week comes to a close, the ranch is fixed. <sighs> South right. Bank is happy. There are no more problems south of the river. Right on. It's just the peach trees now? Uh, yeah. uh, well, and the cat, obviously. Uh, mm, I mean, yes, but uh, g can the four of you give Something me perception checks, please? Oh, no. Oh, no. I almost did it open. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Gaius and Kuromori, as you guys are walking back uh, and sort of grateful that the last three weeks of work is finally done, you don't have to worry about anything, waiting to go see what progress Ishino has made on the tea house, uh, you see a comical question mark site? Um... Why are there uh, multiple kappas in a couple of rowboats just boating around the river rapidly? How rapid are we talking? Like fast uh, for a boat or like fast for us, the people? They are drifting that shit. Oh, okay. Um, that is unsafe boating practice if I've ever seen it. Do you dragon boats? <laughs> do we do we hear like Eurobeat too or? <laughs> uh, no, you hear screaming. <laughs> you can see across the river. Um, uh, you recognize him as Rajul from Rajul Samudra, who works at the docks, uh, <laughs> screaming at the Kappas, oh. who oh, are man. notably ignoring him. I'll walk up and go, uh, hey, what's uh, going on? What's going on? What do you think is going on? They have stolen our boats, and they are practicing very unsafe boating practice. Oh, those are our boats. Ah, I see. Yes! Get back here! Bring those back! They have turned and are starting uh, boating east towards the edge of town, it looks like. Or back to the docks, you're not sure. Uh, 
Try to get their attention. How are you trying to get their attention? I am unsure yet. <laughs> well, the Can I cast the lights? The further they're getting I... away. Can I cast a light get... spell in front of them? What is the range on light? Uh, 120 feet. 120 feet. I will definitely yell at them. Uh, you can certainly cast a light spell in front of them. All right, I'll cast a red light spell in front of them. You hear a, a couple of wah, um, <laughs> but they just keep going. Oh. I'll, I'll whistle on my signal whistle. <laughs> Gain their attention. <laughs> it's up to half a mile away. I mean, they definitely Where's hear you. Uh, they also speed up. <laughs> is there a boat nearby? Is there is there a boat nearby? Uh, give me a perception check. And Co, what were you asking? I was asking Gaius what he yelled at them. <laughs> that is a good thing to note, Gaius. What are you yelling at them? Come back over here. I want to learn. <laughs> uh, they're definitely rowing faster. <laughs> uh. Unfortunately, you don't see any boats that are currently near shore where you are. There would definitely be more down at the docks, which they're rowing to, but you're not sure you could outpace them. Come back! <laughs> we have used to share about one of your own! I'll run to the docks, I guess. All right. Uh, I guess I'll follow because I'm not sure what to do here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just following, too. You're following and shouting after them. It's definitely yeah, it's catching following. people's attention in town. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, this is a new week, isn't it? It's, it's, uh, so this is sort of at the it's... end of the previous week. This is like as you guys were heading home to... Uh, like, meet up with Ishino, let him know. It's, like, late afternoon at this point. Uh, I'm at second week after the uh, oh. tea house. Uh, yes. So I just need to spend another three gold. Yeah. Um. And if you want to uh, lower the dosage, you're more than welcome to, and the price will decrease. I will sort of leave up to you how effective... The communication is early on, at least with your early attempts. Yo, dudes, I got drugs. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea to yell. Uh, I'll do I get, that. I don't know how far they are, but do I get a sense if they're panicked or just mischievous uh, give or... Me, give me a sense motive check. Sense motive... They are definitely uh, younger Kappas. Um, oh. And definitely don't seem frightened at all. They have gleeful smiles on their okay. face. This we're is a big job to them. Yeah, they're, they're, just, they're just stealing the boats. <laughs> <laughs> is this joyriding or are they actually fleeing like, with the boat? Uh, as you guys sort of uh, start approaching the docks, you can see them turn southeast and go under the bridge on them. They are not returning them, it seems, and it seems they are taking them down the river towards Gord Lake. Ugh. I don't know. We can't, we can't, we can't outpace them. New activity, go find the boats. <laughs> uh, if you, like, Rodejul has been running to the docks as well. He would most definitely... Uh, you, uh, yes. Bending will kill me if I don't get those boats back. Please, 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 please. I need them. I need this job. Okay. Very well. All right. You. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Thank you. Thank we'll you. deal with this GTP. I don't know what you mean by that, but... Either way, I just I just need the boats back. Jericho, they're not the same. Left. 
<laughs> They're not the same cap as we saw in the bathhouse, right? Ah. Uh... Based off of your perception, no. They okay. do not seem like it. Ah, uh, yeah, all right. We'll, we'll tell on them on their elders. <laughs> oh, I forgot I did fucking server dude accents for the Kappas. You did. That's why no. I said, yo, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, what are you oh, doing? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to I'm have to go into a dark place to pull that accent out again. <laughs> Well, daylight is uh, burning at the moment. It is late afternoon. You're more than welcome to set out now, or if you wanted to let Ishino you know and set out in the morning. The choice is up to you guys what you would like to do. It will take a uh, probably a good chunk of the day, especially with horses, to ride down the road on the outskirts of the lake. Uh, actually, yeah, Cyan will just propose, I think we should head to the beach road first. Um, the, I think the boats will be there. Hmm. You could definitely you hit one of the groves either on the way there or on the way back. Yeah, I think it might be on the way. Because I think the paper that Mong Un will create from those speech that will be used to fend off evil spirits, so I think kind of relevant. Just reactivating so you guys can get a uh, idea. As a reminder, the Kappas did mention that they live on the south side of Gord Lake. So, unfortunately, the switchbacks to get over aren't very easy. If you were looking for, like, the quickest and best route, you would go down, cross over at Dragonfly Creek, and either go through the woods or all the way around on the road, meet them, and you could potentially hit two Peachwood Groves on the way back, or if you want to go to this one on the way there. Or if you just want to go down the road the quick way and then, like, swim, you could do that too, I suppose. Well, if we go this way... And we get the boats back. We can just take the boats across to this one. Yeah. Oh, that's true. You absolutely could. Yeah, because we didn't have a horrible nightmare of a time in a boat, you know, just a few days ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was like a month and a half. I guess. Ago, uh, I guess. Uh, yeah, we've been going through weeks now. So yeah. Yeah. It's been a while. Are you gonna ask the Kappas what the uh, the eight practices are? Also. Uh, they wouldn't know. No, they would not know. I'm right. gonna make sure their accents are perfectly authentic. Oh, <laughs> gods! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Or do you want to stop at that one, Cyan? Is that what you're? Or who? Yeah, is... yeah. Or or who was doing this? That that's me. Are that's we... me. Yep. All right, you are we gonna have? Way, then? Are we gonna some logistical problems though of getting both the horses and the boats back at the same time? Could we use the boats to transport the wood back? Uh, most likely. These aren't very large boats that got taken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's rowboats. So. Yeah, these ones each would probably fit like three people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. we have the transportation to think of. As you guys think about what your plan will be and probably go report to Ishino, I would imagine, so he's not left in the dark, I think that's a solid place to go ahead and take a break. So you guys can uh, think about what that plan is. And I will see you all in just a few minutes. Stand up, stretch, grab some water, and then we will move on to the next day when you come back. Welcome back. So, as the new week arrives, what is the plan for this week? Are you all setting out as a group? Are people still doing things in town? What are we looking at? Um, I'll definitely set out as a 
or at least I would go to deal with the boat issue. I think I yeah. go for the boats too. Definitely heading out. Okay. Of Willow Shore, and I think I'll be looking at the Beechwood Grove. Okay. So, Cyan's going down to the Grove. Gaius and Grimori are heading towards Gord Lake. Yeah, correct. Gaius and Co., I don't know what Kuro Gaius is. Gaius and Co., I'm uh, sorry. I, I, I'll join them to the... Okay. So, Cyan will get dropped off at the grove while the rest of the group heads towards the lake. And, uh, Ishino, what are you up to? Um, did it seem like there was nefariousness <laughs> with the Kappas, or were they just, like, they stole a boat? From what you are made aware of, they stole two boats, and were taking them for joy rides, and then left with them. Did we have interactions with Kappas before? I, don't think, I think it may have been before I joined. We have. <clears throat> were they like, they weren't evil, they were just jerks? Is that, is that they're they're right? really chill. They're, they're okay. very chill. They kind of just went along with the invasion because they were Yeah, hungry, but, right? but realize that uh, they don't want any part of this. The villagers will get us once all of this is done so, so they're we're just, just gonna out. chill they hung yeah. out of the right. spa the entire time they ate, <laughs> right. they ate a dead horse oh yeah they did if they were if they were chill and like they weren't um serving more nefariousness or evil deeds i think ishin is probably just gonna keep working on the tea toast okay <laughs> fair enough House, and then everyone else towards the Kappas, who might not take, they won't take the entire week. You're really looking more at like two days of work on them. Max. So. Yeah, I'll go to the Beechwood Grove that's closest to where the Kappas are, so. So this one, or? Yeah, this one. This one. Okay. Then you would be taking a different route than the party, I imagine. Is the party going around the south side of the river and the lake. So I see them across from the river. <laughs> <laughs> just wave at each just other. Avoid, just avoid that spot. <laughs> what do you mean? That's the fun route. Certainly not dangerous to you anymore. Uh-huh. What happened there? <laughs> I don't remember. We got, vine we got attacked by plants. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We nearly died. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, as you all head out, Cyan making your way downtown towards the Peachwood Grove. And the rest of you making your way over towards the south side of Gord Lake, aside from Ishino. Ishino, we'll get to your uh, group roll in a little bit. Or your uh, tea house roll in a little bit. But... Co I would like to summon the lantern as soon as I see the Kappas. <laughs> okay. As you see them drifting around on the lake, very obviously. Um, maybe about a dozen or so feet offshore as you all approach. Uh, maybe about five younger looking Kappas currently playing on them. But there is a uh, more recognizable Kappa who is looks a bit older. Definitely seems to also recognize you all as you are making your way up the road towards the edge of the lake. Whoa! Hey, guys! Couldn't, uh... Y'all came down here? That's totally awesome. Now, uh... You're not... You're not here just to hang out with us again or to, to pay a visit, are you? Not quite. We are here to get our boats back. Yeah, these, uh, 
these young ones thought it was a funny prank of theirs last week, last night to uh, try this out. I mean, kind of funny, for being honest, but <laughs> probably not great for you folks. You know, the, the dock worker was quite distressed about it. <laughs> Would love to see his face. Um, totally happy to give him back with you. Uh, happy to let you take him home. But, I mean, if you're here, you want to have a little fun? I mean, we're always looking for uh, fun trials, you could say. Put the little ones through and... Uh, from what we hear, you folks managed to totally wreck whatever problems you had back home. What kind of uh, activities do you have in mind? Sumo wrestling, of course, on top of the moving boats. <laughs> Come on, it's gonna be great! Bias wins. I ain't doing that. Fuck that. <laughs> you don't want to? Sumo wrestling? Yeah. That sounds very athletic. Uh, strength <laughs> plus zero. Um, <laughs> athletics plus zero. What if I were to tell you yeah. you could use deception as a skill? Ooh. Considering you could uh, potentially deceive them into tipping their head bowl over enough in the match and cause them to spill the water in their head, which would make it an easy win for you from there. What do we get if we win? <laughs> well, I mean, nothing really gotten if you, if you win, but, uh, it'll be fun. Like, <laughs> We'll get the boats back for you, and I mean, this is a good way to teach them a lesson. I mean, they're part of the tribe, but, I mean, who's to stop them from doing it again if uh, if we just tell them to give the boats back, you know? You just have a point. Why not? Or, I mean, we're in a... Misty prison, but yeah, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> well, you yeah, haven't we'll had a prison fight before. <laughs> you guys even know that that we're stuck inside a prison. I mean, Wait. when you really think about it, flesh and life itself are themselves just prisons, trappings of family. Uh huh. Everything oh, is eternally questioning if he wants to do drugs for real or not. No. Uh, a little, a little uh, Kirby will ask the goat. Are you, are you able to go past that barrier at all, or do you get what the, barrier? Like if you were to go say, a uh, sort of gesture down the river to the east, like just before the bend where it turns north. Oh, ah, I know. Yeah, uh, Mike tried last week. Uh, <laughs> Turn him right around. Yeah, totally weird. No, we can't go past yeah. it. Okay. But we never really went that direction anyway, so it doesn't affect us all that much. Oh. Shall we uh, teach your youngings uh, a lesson or two? Hell yeah. Let's do this. All right, on the boats. Who's up for the first match? We got... Uh, that one. He doesn't have a name yet, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, he hasn't come of age yet to get a name? Yeah. He also, oh, yes. I mean, we gave him one a couple of times, but he just kept forgetting it, so none of us no. bothered to remember it if he couldn't be bothered, you know? Oh, I'll uh, go first. Is Gaius glowing? Uh, in the presence of undead, Gaius is not glowing. Okay, so it should be okay to swim or enter a body. <laughs> That's why I break the first couple of weeks. Hmm? 
That it is. It says, avoid entering bodies of water when a ghost is nearby. Yeah. The the eight practices are really only overseen for the first few weeks of summer, like oh, the first month. Yeah. Okay. And past that, that, it's fine. So you guys are past the point that people would be focused on overseeing those rules. Frankly, oh. we go check out that shrine underwater. <laughs> that you could. I'm down for that. Time to eat all the free food. All right, guys, are you swimming out onto the lake? Towards one of the boats? Uh, yeah, I'll get out of my armor first. So I'm just... Give me a will save. Oh, okay. Ah! <laughs> Look at that lying, manipulative DM. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Gaius, my friend. You swim out to the boats just fine. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> As you put one hand on the side to pull yourself up, something grabs your leg. <sighs> <laughs> Why do you sound so upset? Just... There's... God damn it. Do you look? Was that a... I'll look. Oh look! Okay. Is it? Is it? Is it one of the little children kappas? No. It's a half dozen disfigured mifflets, holding on to your no. leg, trying to drag you down into the water. I have no idea what the fuck those are. Uh, the those mifflets are the gremlins that were invading the town. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's about half a dozen of them holding on to your leg and trying to swim down. Not effective at all, but. They're there. There's enough right out there. I'm about to murder some children. <laughs> well, no, you're not supposed to kill the child. You're well, supposed to wrestle him. I mean, hey there, guy. I know this is meant to be like a challenge, but murder's not cool. You know that, right? Is the kid on the boat you're about to wrestle? Like, violence, not the answer. But trickery is. I mean, on a, I mean, playing pranks is fun. Yeah. I will intimidate this child. I will drag you in here, and you will die with me if you don't help me. Whoa! 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 What do you mean? <laughs> I, I, I. What do you mean? I. I'm not... What What do you mean, die? No, man. Are you going to help me, or am I going to get what? dragged down? Do you down need help getting start... on the boat? I'm getting dragged down, yes. <laughs> He's going to, like, crawl over to the edge of the book. What do you mean you're getting dragged down? Are they? Are they not there for him? They're not there for you. When you look down as he looks down, uh, there's nothing to hold on onto your leg. What are you doing? Why are you intimidating a child, guys? Come on. That's not nice. At least I didn't make them dumb for the rest of their life. <laughs> you know what? Fair. Um, I'll, about that. <laughs> I'll climb on the boat. Okay. Um, this kid's forfeiting the match. <laughs> he doesn't want to wrestle a crazy person. He thinks they're being dragged down when no one's there and just threatens to kill him too. No way, man. Well, I guess that's one way to you're look all, so... You're immediately on the second match. Okay, then. Good job, guys. Good win. Good win. <laughs> the kid comes swimming back to shore. Your friend's a nut. Oh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to see that. <laughs> Another kid swims up, gets on the boat. You're on, guys. All right. He's a coward. I'm not. Let's do this. I'm going to send you can back I, into the water. Right. Can I, can I intimidate him? That's only going to work <laughs> on the first one. <laughs> I mean, for the shot, right? <laughs> you can... 
You can certainly do your best to be intimidating. I'm not going to have you roll and give you free wins because of it, though. You got okay. the first win. <laughs> okay. The rest of them are here for an honest-to-goodness competition. Never mind. So, I appreciate the try. Guys, wins by showing them down. <laughs> All right, guys. It is round two of five. Are you ready to give me that athletics check? Yeah, why not? All right. These can be hero pointed. Or you can just pick the Kappa it? up and throw him off the boat. That works too. <laughs> he is light as a feather. My goodness. <laughs> just pick child up, rotate, <laughs> drop off boat. It's as simple as that. Uh. <laughs> How are we supposed to follow that up? <laughs> uh... <laughs> I rolled for the third one just to see, and it's funny, they rolled a nat one. So, your third opponent, guys, is going to climb on the boat, get into position, make their first step towards you, and slip. And fall on their back. Apparently, guys, is just going to do it all. They're not in the water yet, guys, but you can just push them if you want. I'll do it. <laughs> children children need to learn that life isn't going to be merciful. <laughs> Go ahead and give me that athletics check. <laughs> now, this will be funny if I also rolled the one and slipped as well. No. Nope. No. <laughs> Child slips, falls on his back on his shell, and you just put a foot on him. And push. He goes sliding <laughs> off the boat. And, uh... That's the match! Um... I mean, three zilch to Gaius. That's, uh... Kid's got no chance of coming back from that. <laughs> Everyone give it up for Gaius! Yeah! Yeah. What yeah. the fuck was that? No. Like, I thought these kids were a little sad, but that was pathetic. I guess I'll roll the boats back. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, great job out there, guys. That was really cool of you. Um, I mean, thanks for stopping by, guys. You're uh, welcome to stick around for a while if you want. And then I'll make sure that I look at the children, like, if you steal a boat again, I'll be back. <laughs> Give me an intimidation check at this point. <laughs> <laughs> All of them turn around and dive underwater. <laughs> Just out of sight of you. <laughs> I've become their boogeyman. <laughs> we are sorry about the trauma yeah. your children just suffered. Yeah, I was thinking this would be a good, you know, community building experience. But, oh, you know. Great learning experience for them. Are you kidding me? Well, Better well, yeah, than any of the I, stories we tell them at night. I, That's going to scare the old, shit out of them. I was thinking like relation building between your oh. tribe and our town. Well, I mean, I'm married, but I'm open to more relationships. Uh, no, not not that kind of Oh! You know Sorry. Uh, this is awkward. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna excuse myself. While he's trying to... get some, I'm gonna put on my clothes. I, I am not. I was talking about the Kappa. Hey, if that's what you're into, far be it from me to judge. No. No. Well, I'm gonna start setting up the boats to go across the river. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as the four of you head over to just meet with Cyan, I suppose, and help with Peachwood for a week. Uh, well done on that. We can go it's ahead. Just nice watching from the shore. I'm like, <laughs> what is going on? Guy is just throwing Leon Kappas. <laughs> He's screaming at them. You're like, 
you confirmed where the grove was, Cyan. You're coming out just to check on things, and you all of a sudden hear guys just screaming as you're at the edge of the woods. And you come out and see him, like, picking up and throwing children off the boats. <laughs> you're not sure what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, as you all make it to the Peachwood Grove here... I am going to ask everyone here to go ahead. Do all four of you have the earn income macro on your hotbar? Uh, I oh. can add it. Well, I go get it. it. If you go to the yeah. compendium pack, search up earn income. Ooh. You want the one that looks like these stacks of gold coins. Earn yeah. income. And I'll pop earn back glory. to uh, the Willow Shore map so you actually have your token there. Uh, which compendium is it in? Uh, if you just go to the compendium packs, it's the foundry folder. Should be second from the right, that tab. Looks like a closed book. Right, but we, we You can one. search. Oh, oh I see. Search for yeah, you can search in oh. there. There's a search compendium packs. BF2E macros, I guess. Okay. Yes, yeah. Should have a picture that looks like a stack of gold coins. Yeah. Oh, I, I like how one of them is earned glory. Yeah, it's a feat. That's <laughs> saw that too. That's a, uh, what do you have to use for feet. this? Nature? I'm pulling up my notes on it right now, which I somehow lost them. I'm not sure where they went, so give me just a moment. Do -do -do -do. In my notes, Willow Shore, there's the peach wood. All right, uh, yes. So you can do up to a fourth level task, earning income using nature or survival. Um, for this first week, I'm going to say that Cyan, you can do a total of six days. The rest of you can do a total of five days, factoring in travel time and spending time working on the Kappas for most of it. Okay. What is the DC on level four? Uh, I can pull up the earned income DCs for you guys. If uh, you would like. 19. There you go. <laughs> Ta da! Yeah, 12. You can do a. You do not have to do it at level 4. You can do it at lower level. You will just earn less if you do. That was what? Five days for us? Five days. For you guys, at six for Cyan. And then just whatever skill that we want. Nature or survival. What is my nature? Exactly the same. So it's like a loss of two silver. Nature for six days. Okay. Thank you, Ishino. <laughs> oh, nice. Gaius earns five silver over the course of the entire week. Damn. Nice. One twentieth of the way there. I go. So uh, five days for everyone else, right? Yes. I rolled an 18. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Kuramori rolled a 17. <laughs> I will go for the level four. Screw it. All right. I thought we'll go to level two. <laughs> oh, my God. He oh, did the I same thing I did. One, yeah. oh. So... That's not bad. Overall, for this first week of work, the four of you working together earn about five gold, seven silvers worth of peach wood. You need ten gold to succeed here, and you can do more increments of ten for further rewards from there. So we're just camping here, and or do we need to take the wood back first? Uh, you can continue to camp here if you're all planning to do another week of it. For the rest of this week first, though, I would like Ishino to go ahead and give his uh, roll for the tea house. Good roll, good roll. A beautiful nice. roll there, Ishino. You are only one week away from finishing up the tea house. Yeah. Ishino single-handedly building the tea house up. Y'all yep. should go in there and make the last check and be like, oh, that was hard work. <laughs> <laughs> the last picture frame. Stay away. <laughs> <laughs> make sure it's like, we did this. Good job. 
construction site. No, 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 no. I'll go there and roll an Addy one. <laughs> Just ruin it. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, does everyone who's out at the uh, Peachwood Grove want to continue working there for another week? Do any of you wish to head yeah. back to town? Yeah. Let's just knock it out. Okay. Yeah. I guess while we're working, like, tell us about Taldor. <laughs> Guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and start this week with Ishino's roll, then. Let's see him roll well. Let's see the tea house finished by the time you come back. Uh, the wood. And that is enough for the tea house to be fully prepared and restored by the time everyone comes back. Congratulations, Ishino. Good the tea job. house is in full working order. You did it. Right on time, too. Your initial, uh... <laughs> and he just falls asleep before hey, it can even finish. Thank you, Ishino. You know, we, we should give some props to Ko and Sai for, uh, making, helping the, the leshies out. Fair enough. Uh, Ishino, you just have to befriend Yami now next week, and it's all said and done there. Bing, bang, boom. Yep, that's my goal. <laughs> Time wow. to focus on the cat now. You have the highest nature in the party. <laughs> all right. And for... Maybe I should be doing these nature-y things, too, but, hey, you know. Keep for the back, rest guys. of you, uh, since we factored in travel time for last week, you can all do a full seven days of earned income here if you would like. For this roll. Right. Seven days. Sorry, did we no. need to trans transfer groves, or is this the same grove? Nope. This grove is still fine for now. Got it. If any of you crit fail, the grove becomes useless. Mm. Or, ooh, crit ooh, success! Crit. Ooh. And guys can crit fail. <laughs> Sign fails. And co crit fails. Oh no! That grove is super dead by the time you guys finish. You uh, have yeah. stripped it entirely of wood, which has put you guys to 12 golds worth of peach wood. 12 gold, 7 silvers worth, to be specific. So, you most definitely have enough that you could uh, return now finish up the job of collecting peach wood or you could go to more groves get more wood if you're really out and about <laughs> <laughs> you are and it is the end of the month of eridus by the time you finish this week up monday will be the first of rova which is you've got about half a month remaining of summer so if there's anything you specifically wish to do for yourselves it would be the time to do so. Sure Sorry, enough. did you say we have enough for the Peachwood test? You do, yeah. You have oh, enough nice. to turn it in and be done, but you can go okay. get more if you would like. Um, I'll leave it to the others. I think we have enough. Yeah, I don't know what the additional rewards are for going further, but I think we can go back. Yeah, there should be enough for... <laughs> I keep All forgetting right. her name. Mongun. <laughs> Mongun's purposes. Yeah. Absolutely. Now's the time if anyone wants a tattoo. Uh, yeah, you said you needed gold for that, right, Cole? Yeah, I have two weeks, so I can probably get the ten or the dead, the half cost discount on most of these. Since oh, you depending on how many people. Day. <clears throat> huh? Since they reduced the initial crafting time to one day. It's quite nice. Oh, oh, did they? Okay. Yeah, with the remaster, instead of four days now, it's just one day for the initial crafting check. As long as you have the formula. Cool, so how long does it take, then, if you take the full amount? It depends on what you roll. Oh. Um, so... There is an actual craft in your basic action macros that will effectively make the check tell you how much is owed and how many days it would require to reduce it down to owing nothing anymore. 
Okay, and then you drag the item you, you want drag to the drive. formula in. Yep. Okay. So you guys returning to town here at the end of this? Yep. Yes. Alright. Yes. Mongun is definitely grateful for all of the peach wood she's going to bring. And uh, let me see. Has a number of She'll give them to you over the next few days, but I'll just give them to you now so I don't forget. Uh, a number of rare fulus as thanks. Ooh. Uh, as well as the formulas for them for anyone who wants them. So does anyone in the party have specifically magical crafting as a feat? I believe I do. It's been a while. Yes, yes I do. Okay. <laughs> then once I put these in the stash, you can also add them to your formula list if you would like since she will happily teach the formulas for these neat let me see pull up the Weird. stash pull up what you guys have in total here yeah she will grant you specifically a hallway privacy ward fulu which is a way to effectively make a small area uh, soundproofed slightly. She will. And she will give you a single firecracker fulu as well. Which is a, uh, have it attached. When you crit succeed, you can do a little extra sonic damage as well. So... For the formulas, anyone with magical crafting can add to their crafter's book would be... I'll type it up in the uh, Foundry chat so you can just look it up easily to add it. Well, well, you just drag the item into, into the crafting page and yep. we'll add it? And while she can't uh, provide these for free okay. since you only Whoop. brought in the base amount it. of requirements... Uh, the other fulus she has that she can teach you are an animal turning fulu and a traveler's fulu. It didn't work at all. Which, uh, <laughs> traveler's fulu is a turn a crit fail sense direction check into a success. Animal turning is a reaction get a plus two AC against a strike from a creature with the animal trait. So, Firecracker. that is the end pretty much of everything that needs doing around town you guys have resolved pretty much every issue that you possibly can cyan unfortunately lost his internet seems yep. so we are down him tragically what was the name of the other two again they're in the chat and found oh. Ah, I had turned away from it. Ah, <laughs> I was I was in the the actors tab. Yes, uh, the animal turning and the travelers. And yes, I spelled travelers wrong. Don't laugh at me. Tee -hee. <laughs> so, Ishino, I imagine what you want to do for this next week is nice and easy. Yes. To just befriend the cat. Make friends with cat. Fair enough. You can go ahead and give me that roll if you would like. Hey everyone, sorry. Welcome back. You should know that's a crit success for you. Nice. So, uh... Uh, Ishino, can you go ahead and roll a d8 for me as well? Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, so a couple things that'll happen for you this week. One, Yami, because of your efforts, both now and really during the entire construction process of the, uh, house will take a liking to the entirety of the party i assume most of you guys would at least stop by most days um whether because that's a good place for you all to just like eat together 
or talk. Yeah, uh, definitely. But yeah. Nami especially takes a particular liking to Yui Shino. And at the end of this week, Yami will actually approach you with something in their jaws as what appears to be a little gift. Look at that. Yishino bends down, gives the cat some scratches, sees what it is. It's a, uh, a thin leather cord with what appear to be really delicate sort of runic markings and threads throughout it. Um, oh. Good cat. Surprisingly, there's also a small little scrap of paper wrapped around it that describes what the item is. Uh, and I'm not sure how sure. useful it is, but this is a lesser talisman cord. which is uh, something you can have multiple talismans attached to. Oh. oh cool. uh, or, sorry, it is a way to potentially not consume a talisman when used. So, if you guys had a specific item, say you were at a lower level and used a potency crystal, if you had the talisman cord on that as well, it would be a, a DC 16 flat check to just not use up the talisman when it's used. Oh, that's nice. nice. Yeah, it's a pretty cool item. It is an invested item, but I dropped it in your inventory, Ishino, instead of the party stash, since it was a specific gift to you. Uh, I'm just going to link it for everybody to see. <laughs> Dude, Fulus are talismans? They're technically not, um, okay. but I would allow them to count for Fulus. Oh, they are talismans, technically. They're a separate they type the, of the, talisman. They have the trait, right? Yeah, they do have the talisman trait. So, yeah, you could use the talisman cord with your with your fulus. That would be a-okay. Sorry, I missed the part. What are fulus? They're a type of talisman, effectively, but they're like paper charms. More so than anything God. else. Uh, the party got two for free from helping out Molun, a privacy uh, ward and a firecracker. But you, she has also taught the formulas to anyone with magical crafting. Gotcha. Did they uh, remaster the Talisman Dabbler? I yeah. don't recall off the top of my head, if I remember. I don't I, think so. I have layer or two right here. I don't know what to ask the question. <laughs> don't remember what Talisman Dabbler was originally in. Oh, it is in player Oh, they yeah, they, the they did, yeah. Hot dog. And any uh, Thaumaturge, guys, you don't have the ability to craft some every day, do you? You did not go down that route? No. No, because you went the familiar route. Yeah. Thaumaturge effectively has a feat that's Talisman Dabbler where they can make two a day, which is pretty neat. And there's also the scroll one, which is cool, too. Yep. All right. Well, that is Ishino's work for this week. Uh, what about the rest of you, though? In what is your effectively second to last free week of summer? What is left to do? Uh, this is all personal things at this point. You guys have pretty much accomplished everything that could be helped out with in town. Now, I should oh. mention for reputation purposes, you do get one with Northridge for bringing the uh, boats back. You also get one for the Fulus. However, because you did crit fail at the Groves, some people in South Bank are a bit upset with your excessive <laughs> uh, efforts, and you do lose one reputation with South Bank. So the party currently has 12 points of reputation with Northridge and 9 with South Bank. Well, then. Just to give you an idea of where you stand with both factions. Both of them still quite like you, but you definitely seem better in the eyes of people on the northern end of town. Yay. Well, <laughs> how's the rebuild of my home going? It's done by now. Oh, it's done? Okay. Yeah. Basic rebuildings are done. Once we get into fall, though, the 
like buildings will need reinforcing uh, and just some extra effort done to make sure everything is winter ready but the actual basic reconstruction of your house is fully complete by now oh okay uh if i remember right my discovery for granny who was had to do with uh do not bribe her or bring up her checkered past and try to impress her by bringing handcrafted tea. And there's also something about food, if I remember right. Yes, you noted that any attempt to influence her that involved fears about the Willow Shore would potentially make it easier to influence her. Okay. Specifically, though, if you were using diplomacy, deception, or intimidation. You guys could absolutely spend this week trying to influence uh, any of these people if you would like. I want her to check in to see how they're, how things are going with them and uh, if there's anything of urgency. Yeah. Now we are going to do influencing the important people here, Granny Who and Old Motsky, more on a daily basis than a weekly basis. Because I don't want to be yeah, like... I'm fine with drilling, drilling down at this point. Sure. If everyone else is. Because I'm going to be crafting and making some tattoos for myself. Yeah, you're going to spend uh, at least this week crafting here, Co. Yeah, I'm just going to do the lilac bloom for me. Sure. You can go ahead and uh, roll that check if you'd like. Right, uh... <laughs> Hmm. I guess I'll try to influence something. Okay. You want to try and influence Motsky? Yeah. Alright, so do you want to do that every day? Yeah, why not? Just go drink with Motsky for a week straight? Yeah, sounds good. You're going to have the good. worst hangover in existence. <laughs> eh. So, oh, look at that. Co, you would immediately pay half, which is the uh, 12 and a half gold, and every additional day you spend working on the Lilac Bloom will reduce it by seven silver of that remaining 12 and a half you owe. So, okay. if you wanted to work for this entire week, that would be six of those 18 days, and you could either note that you're going to spend most of next week as well on it, uh, which will bring it down to only with a little bit of extra silver, or you can just pay the remainder now, after the end of this week. Which, losing six days off of the remaining twelve and a half would be four gold, two silver. So, um, your overall cost would be twenty gold, eight silver, at this moment in time. If I just choose to K twelve and five, that's fine. Or Yeah, so you can do uh just So after the first day of work you would immediately pay twelve gold five silver. And then from there oh, okay. you still owe twelve gold five silver. Every additional day you spend working on it reduces that twelve and a half gold by seven silver. Okay, I get it. So if you count this whole week where you'd have those six days after that first day, that would remove 4.2 off of that 12.5 you still owe. And you could continue working into next week, or you could just pay now and be done with it. Is anyone else going to want a tattoo? Not at the moment. Uh, okay. Nah, for now, I'm I good. Think. Okay. Go spend it on yourself. Well, I do want to try to talk to Motsky and stuff, so... I guess I'll pay for one week. Okay. Or take one week off of it. Um, so, it's, you said 20-something? So, yeah, in total you'll pay 20 gold and 8 silver for the tattoo. Okay, I'll just take that off. And then you can go ahead and give it to yourself. Minus 20. Shout out to the Starfinder playtest, which has 3D printers and lets you do downtime crafting in the matter of hours instead of days. 
just wild. The future. <laughs> the future. You, UBBs of snow. <laughs> all right. Uh, Gaius, you are drinking with Matsuki all week? Yes. So, this is going to be a total of seven checks you get to do. <laughs> oh, God. To influence him, because I'm breaking it down to daily. All right. So, your, uh... Your check of choices, do you recall what your discoveries are with him? I do not. Well, um, it says, talk about the good old days. That's for guys. <laughs> So, yes, you are aware Willow Shore lore likely has the lowest DC. You could do alcohol lore, and you could always do the basis of diplomacy, deception, intimidation. Um, he doesn't um, like Granny Who. I don't know if that's actually a weakness, but... <laughs> well, they both hate each other, shit. so... Yeah, you can talk <laughs> shit about Granny Who. Talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's only for recall. Hmm. So it's alcohol, Willow Shore, and what was the third one? The three main charisma skills. Oh, I'll do diplomacy. diplomacy intimidation. All right. You're just going to do seven diplomacy checks? Yes. All right. Well, let's do these one at a time, because if you get crit successes... I will let you guys know the maximum influence with any of these guys is 7. So, uh, 27 is a crit success right off the bat. With diplomacy. Alright. So, your first day of just drinking with him, going around South Bank, looking over the work that's being done, providing some advice, just chatting with him about what you guys have going, been going on and doing. Uh he definitely begins to revise his opinion of your group. Um, you can tell he's probably admitting more to himself than anyone else that you don't have the lack of respect for tradition that he might have been assuming for the most part. And uh, that will give you guys a point of reputation with South Bank for reaching that influence threshold with him. Alright, so the second one. Move on to day two. Just a regular success for day two. Continuing to uh, build him up. Move on to day three. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right. Uh... He is definitely, by the end of day three, with the amount of time you're spending with him, working with him, drinking with him, he's definitely growing more fond of you. Definitely <laughs> mentions one night whilst drinking that he sees in you and your group a very bright promise of Willowshore's future. And, uh... He asks you to share a little gift with you and your group. Um, and he will give to you and to share with everyone else in the party a, uh, oh, maybe look in the actual equipment tab of the Compendium Browser, not the Feats tab. Uh, five total feats. drinks of Motsky's Medicinal Wine. Okay. And, uh, anyone who is an alchemist in the party was alchemical crafting he will happily teach the recipe for this is uh alcohol that has a higher dc save than normal alcohol but also provides a plus two item bonus to fortitude saves against disease and poison for 24 hours okay uh but it does not apply to any checks made against the wine itself <laughs> funny enough it's so poisonous it fights other poisons yeah really uh yeah but, Ishino, you can absolutely add that formula to your formula book nice third level formula for you six cgp <laughs> yeah well that's because it's crafted in batches of four oh, oh right well, i'm sorry you're looking at the fact that you have five in the party yes 
You know? It's 12 gold a dose. <laughs> I was like, that's expect. Oh, wait, I'm just dumb. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Gaius, that's the end of day three for you. You're cooking. All right, well, we'll continue. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Oh, oh no. Day four, unfortunately, you still chat with him, but I don't know, perhaps it's just how frequent you're doing. He is, uh... Your relationship with Matsuki does not progress any further today. And then the last one. Day five. You know a week is seven days, right? Oh, true. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just... so close to a nat one. But it wasn't, and that's what matters. All right. Day five, you got him going good. One more successful day, and he's will probably be he will probably fully trust you and value your input at that point. All right. Nice. And that will absolutely be enough. So it is up to you if you'd like to spend your last day of the week doing anything else, or if you just want to continue chatting with him just because. I'm going to die in my house now. <laughs> Spend well, a day I'm detoxing. Gone. Just <laughs> my liver. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Whole bunch of liver damage caused. <laughs> You're not sure how Matsuki, who's in his nineties, can drink that much and not die. It's probably because he's drinking so much. <laughs> to be honest, it's all that medicinal wine. It's got life-extending properties. He's a cultivator. We have rules for that now. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kuramori and Cyan. What are the two of you doing this week? Um, I can try and smooth with uh, old Granny Who to sort of uh, keep her abreast of how things have been doing in town. Sure. Keep in order and all that. Schmooze up, Granny Who. Sounds yeah. awful saying that. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, that's mainly diplomacy and. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Things you guys have found out when it comes to dealing with Granny Who. Willow Shore lore might be the best way, especially if you talk about like shoring up the town's defenses, the fact that she used to be a member of the Imperial Guard. Uh, oh, I will definitely use that then. You did learn that fun. crafting could be useful to just serve tea, prepare it, and impress her that way. Uh, much as she doesn't really show it, she is someone who does appreciate tradition and a good tea ceremony. Uh, and then your general intimidation, diplomacy, deception. Let's, uh, let's try doing the, the whole tea thing. Okay. See how that goes. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about the stage seven of alcohol, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, day one, absolutely a schmooze up, Granny Hula. I need to not say that again. <laughs> and uh, Can I... begin the process of getting on her good side. Nice. Can I trigger my seasonal boon? Have you not used that already? I don't think I did. Oh, or did oh. I? I don't know. You guys are the think... ones who should have it like a little once per uh, one time that to keep track of. I had only just set that up today. Um, uh, I don't think anyone with close to You've is... used yours, Kuramori, specifically to oh, improve I... Northridge's reputation. Because that's... Uh, oh, okay. That is the reputation, not influence. I think Kuro is oh, the only okay. one who hasn't done his ability yet. Oh, okay, okay. I couldn't remember. Ishino did his with close ties. Or... Okay, then I won't do that. Yeah. You used yours on Granny Who previously, uh, Ishino, which would be bring you guys to a point that she has revised her opinion. I love how the book sort yeah. of assumes you guys have, like, are influencing much earlier on. Because reaching influence two with her, uh, she mm -hmm. revises her initial opinion that you guys are useless. Oh. Okay. 
And I think at this point, she's well aware that you guys are not useless. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that will get you guys an increased reputation with Northridge. Nice. And maybe I'll, I'll just spend a second day. I'll try to roll for lower. Sure. Uh, yeah, as high from, as a D, uh, as T to more high as conversation. Number. Yeah. Love this. Well, that die was almost a one. <laughs> All right. So well, that's going to be a crit one. success for you today on that. Nice. So definitely bringing her up, making her a bit happier and uh, more confident in you. Is she also uh, seven levels? Yeah. Or... Yeah, the base influence, like, max for both her and Matsuki is seven. I'll burn mine to increase it by one. <laughs> sure. Why not? Maybe uh, I made some tea for yeah. entering on this time when he's talking about it. Now, reaching influence five with Granny Who, which you just did, is a uh, interesting case because... Cyan, I imagine you're already part of this network, but she trusts the rest of you enough by now that she is uh, interested in inviting you to become a part of her network. Of, uh, <laughs> effectively, her information network around town. Um, anyone who would like to become a part of that is more than welcome. Benefits of officially joining is you will all get a spider lily tattoo for free if you join. It's an invisible tattoo that uh, only reappears when you are dying or when you do die or become doomed. Uh, it gives you a bonus to intimidation checks against creatures that can see the tattoo and it does become visible when used. But... You take a minus one item penalty to diplomacy checks uh, for anyone who would actually understand the meaning of it, which is everyone in Willow Shore. And it does have a uh, free action once per day when an undead creature would detect you. You attempt to deceive the undead into believing you are undead as well for a brief period of time. Yeah, bah. So... Anyone who would like to become a part of Granny Who's Network may take this tattoo for free. But you do not have to. Turns out I already have it. So <laughs> I'll drag that over. <laughs> uh, I, think I don't think that's right in uh, Carol's uh, mindset. Cool. I don't, yeah. That's fair. I don't think, I don't think you'll shake her up on that. As cool as that tattoo is. Uh... Also, that tattoo's useless to me. Code, Code doesn't really like Granny Who that much, so. Which is fair. Um, Very does fair. Does she teach us how to craft this tattoo? No. Oh, she has one of her people apply it to you if you accept. <laughs> this is a uh, yeah, close kept decline. secret. Alright. Uh. I think for the rest of the week, uh, I, I, don't, I think I have, I've pushed my luck with that. <laughs> yeah, I'll just she's, do some... she's definitely wary when she invites most of you to become members of her network, and practically all of you decline. Uh, her guard would definitely be raised against you all. Not that that will reduce your influence with her, though. Uh... uh... So I that was two days I did doing that. Yes, it was. So you have got five days left. I'll try doing crafting income. Sure. You want to just earn see income crafting? Yeah. I see if I can't get the level four DC. Absolutely. Yeah. You could even do up to uh, no. At this point in time, Willow Shore. Willow Shore is basically at the point because of your guys' efforts and the repairs after the invasion, it's hitting level 5. So you could do up to a level 5 earn income if you wanted to here in town. Uh, that becomes a 50-50. <laughs> well, are you a gambling man? No. <laughs> See, I failed. 
Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I uh, get fired and uh, not allowed to come back. <laughs> Your first attempt at making tea for sale. <laughs> you break <laughs> the supplies. Oh, I was thinking. Of, I was not just thinking of like the forge, but. <laughs> Shino is disappointed in you already. <laughs> you can't be brought. Uh, it might have right. been Yami knocking things off of the counter, but you'll never know. <laughs> oh, good try, Kuromori. We appreciate yeah. the effort. That was a that was a good week. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Cyan, last but not least for this week, what are you up to? Yeah. So now that the jig is up um i'm kind of going to granny who i think this week as well sure now that things have settled down and yeah i think i will i'll be kind of getting into her good graces without my mentor and doing a middleman kind of situation Absolutely. do my reports <clears throat> You are welcome to uh, work on influencing Granny Who as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think for the first day, it's kind of standard um, reports on the people of Willow Shore. Uh, kind of what their movements are based on the interactions that we've done, the help that we've given to certain people, both South Bank, North Bank. Uh, Northridge and South Bank, uh, just so she's aware of where everyone is at any given time. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, yeah, what role is that? Uh, let's say for Granny Who, this will fall primarily under the three charisma based checks. So diplomacy, deception, intimidation. Um, okay. Can I use society or <laughs> Willow Shore lore? No. Uh, you can use Willow Shore lore if you've got that. Yeah, I have that. I'll do that. A 17. Uh, well, not a mm. bad roll. Remember, this is a downtime activity. You cannot hero point it. Yep. It's a good role, but at your level of influence with Granny Who, that's not going to be enough to increase your influence any further, unfortunately. But the base report, she definitely does appreciate. She is happy to have you acting in a more open capacity working with her now. She is, she does definitely mention her concern uh, to you that the rest of the party seemed a bit recalcitrant to join her network and asked that you give them a little nudge at some point. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. I'll tell her that um, I'll try to put in some word and assure her that their lips are sealed. I think I'll do this again the following day. Okay. And um, this time, kind of knowing her pragmatic approach on things, uh, kind of do more suggestions on, pick her thoughts on uh, defending Willow Shore, kind of what things that each uh, Northridge South Bank can bring in terms of fending off spirits or ghosts or any of those um, uh, more protective, seeing how she was very uh, alarmed when the citizens were kidnapped. Sure. Uh, yeah, could I use Willow Shore all the way? If yeah, you absolutely that? can. Yeah, I'll do that. And that will be a successful roll for today. Bring you guys up to an influence of six with her. Close to the max, but not quite there yet. But 
She's uh, definitely appreciates your input and insight, especially with the more active role you've been taking in the town's defense most recently. So there's only uh, so much information can be gotten from just the normal town guard, but the people who have actually been out in the field, been doing the fighting, she's well aware that those are the people who will have the best insights. And so she does appreciate your words and work. All right, getting there. Um, yeah, do it. Visit her again. Following yep. day. Day three. Day three. And this time, focusing more on her uh, experiences as a soldier before. Sure. Um, and kind of getting that side of her um, more like a, um, insights on kind of more like a this kind of more personal i guess of experiences as a soldier and how it can help go for it beautiful yeah took you three days but between you and uh everyone else in the party and the abilities being you will reach a point that Granny Who fully trusts you and truly values your input and opinions. Got it. Um, I don't know if I'll regret this. <laughs> but I'll visit for a fourth day. Sure. And... Note that there's kind of a... The governor is gone. Yes. And yes, ask yes. if she has political ambitions. Interesting. Because I've just been kind of buttering her <laughs> up on this stage so, and I feel like I feel more confident the fourth day to you're asking ask. something about three days before it comes to a head because at the end of this week there is going to be a problem between Granny Who and Matsuki about who runs Willow Shore moving into the winter or into the fall so, Ooh, uh, she will that's... definitely look at you. Why, yes, actually. We don't know when the governor will be returning, or if he will, and moving into the fall and then the winter, everyone's protection is paramount. So, I do plan on taking a more active leadership role in the town. You see, um, that is certainly good news, given that that kind of vacuum that we have might cause problems down the road. Yes, yes, it is. And considering and I... everything that's been happening around town... I think that ensuring that our defenses and everyone's safety is at its highest is paramount. I think that the pragmatic approach is the way to go here. I agree. In any case, um, you, you definitely have my support, Granny Who. Thank you. And yeah, I'll, I'll continue to provide you more information as it, they come in. Especially now that I've learned about this um, plan of yours. <laughs> well, I wasn't keeping it secret in particular, and I plan to do something about it quite soon. 
All right. Uh, thank you. Hmm. Sierra smiles as you see yourself out. Yeah, and science kind of deep in thought as he kind of gets back. And I think um, for the rest of the week, he's going to be uh, kind of keeping in touch with his uncle, Dr. Demi. Sure. Well, it is... As was planned at the end of this week, actually, that tension has been building in Willow Shore over the last month and a half or so. Nothing major, and you guys have been out for a chunk of it to really notice it at first, but Northridge and Southbank have never been eye to eye with one another at all. And without Governor He to actually be an overseer and an arbiter between the two factions. While no fights or anything have broken out, tension has been increasing to massive levels to the point that it's actually Matsuki who challenges Granny Who for official leadership one night. This Sunday night, the 7th of Rova. And word will rapidly begin to spread around town of a duel between the two elders to determine who leads Willow Shore. Set for... I'd like to actually see them fight each other. Do they actually <laughs> want to fight each other? That's the challenge. Um... I guess there's going to be champions involved in this. But... Most likely. <laughs> so. The party's about to fight each other. <laughs> they're all going to uh, end up reaching out to you guys separately for conversation, but that is where we're going to end our session this week. Oh, no. I want you all to start thinking about it. One thing I want to say, the easy solution, because you guys reached seven influence with both of them the little extra tidbit of reaching seven influence if you ask either of them to retract their bid for leadership they'll do so without too much complaint they trust that you have willow shore's best interests in mind but knowing this party i'm not sure you all have a united front about <laughs> who will be the best leader for willow shore so, a decision will have to be made, and if a duel needs occurring, then that will happen next week. So, fighting. Ishino no Yami for president. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, funny enough, in my other campaign, uh, the party managed to convince great willow and ugly cute to act as the acting governor together as That's an strange. overall advisor to the granny who and old Motsky. they rolled multiple crit successes in a row to make that happen it was a <laughs> uh, wild situation uh, they yeah, put we, the spike in out, charge we gotta outdo them let's just take over the town ourselves <laughs> if you Go guys for think you could lead the town if you have options and ideas for other third parties, you can absolutely do it. You have great influence in town at this point, so if you have a better idea for who should lead, and that includes yourselves, you could do that. <laughs> Ishino, that is the worst idea. <laughs> Willow Shore will not survive the fall <laughs> if you put the Kappas in charge. What about Buckthorn? <laughs> <laughs> What about Rook? The comatose Rook. <laughs> Make him the yeah. leader. Uh, It'd be like Weekend of Bernie's. Well. Oh my god. Thank you all for playing today. I know it was a lot of downtime and just skill checks, but I do hope you enjoyed. Next week is going to be determining the leadership of Willow Shore and then moving into Fall Proper which will bring about uh, its own series of challenges for you all to mm. deal with. 
That's when the kaiju attack. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> that's in winter. You think I'll do that during fall? Oh, I have okay. to wait till uh... we're all suffering. <laughs> well, I look forward to your guys' decision and your arguments. And I will see you all next week. Have a good one. All right. All right. Cool. See ya. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. See ya, everyone. See you next week.